Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve exercise question from chapter number 2 from book topics in algebra. So question is prove that if G is an abelian group then for all a b in G and all integers n a dot b to the power n is equal to a to the power n dot b to the power n. Before starting our proof, firstly we will recall what is mean by an abelian group. So a group G with a binary operation say dot is said to be abelian or commutative if for all a b in G we have a dot b is same as b dot a. So let's start our proof. Clearly, when n equal to 0, we have a dot b to the power 0 is equal to e. Here, e is the identity element of group G. Now, this e can be written as e dot e. This e can be written as a to the power 0 and again this e can be written as b to the power 0. So, as a result of this, we get a dot b to the power 0 is equal to a to the power 0 dot b to the power 0. Thus, our result is true when n equal to 0. Now, we will prove the result is true for all positive integers by induction. So, for induction, basis step is for n equal to 1, we have a dot b to the power 1 is same as a dot b which can be written as a to the power 1 dot b to the power 1. So, this is our basis step. Next inductive step is suppose the result is true for some positive integer say n equal to k. In inductive step we consider that the result is true for some positive integer n equal to k and we will show that the result is true for n equal to k plus 1. So, let us do it. Now, as result is true for n equal to k, we have a dot b to the power k is equal to a to the power k dot b to the power k and we call this expression as star. Now, post multiplying star by a dot b, we get a dot b to the power k dot a dot b is equal to a to the power k dot b to the power k dot a dot b. Now, by using associativity in a group G, we can write this LHS as a to the power k dot b to the power k dot a dot b and RHS becomes a dot b to the power k plus 1. Okay? Here indices will get added. Here a dot b will have power 1. In the next step, we get a to the power k dot a dot b to the power k dot b. What we have done here? We have given that our group G is abelian. So, this term b to the power k dot a to a can be written as a dot b to the power k and then again we have applied associativity in group G. So, we get this step. Now, this can be rewritten as a to the power k plus 1 and this b to the power k dot b can be written as b to the power k plus 1. So, as a final result we get a dot b to the power k plus 1 is equal to a to the power k plus 1 dot b to the power k plus 1. So, the result is true for n equal to k plus 1. Therefore, the result is true for all positive integers n. Up till now, we have shown that the result is true for n equal to 0 and the result is true for all positive integers. Now, it remains to show that the result is true for all negative integers. So, we will do that. So, let n is some 
negative integer therefore n is equal to minus m for some positive integer m okay what we have done here we know that uh, minus 2 is a negative integer this can be written as minus of 2 here n is minus 2 and m is 2 now a dot b to the power n can be written as a dot b to the power minus m we have just replaced this n by minus m lhs will remain as it is rhs can be written as a dot b to the power minus 1 or a dot b inverse to the power m lhs as it is this a dot b inverse can be written as b inverse dot a inverse we have used shocks shoe property here we states that for a group g and for a b belonging to g a dot b inverse is equal to b inverse dot a inverse so by applying this property we get this step and to the power m will remain as it is now again our group g is abelian so this b inverse dot a inverse can be written as a inverse dot b inverse so what we get here a dot b to the power n is equal to a inverse dot b inverse to the power m now this rhs can be written as a inverse to the power m dot b inverse to the power m why we do so because previously we have proved that our result is true for every positive integer here m is a positive integer so we have applied our result now this a inverse to the power m can be written as a to the power minus m and b inverse to the power m can be written as b to the power minus m then in the next step we have replaced this minus m by n and this minus m by n so finally we get a dot b to the power n is equal to a to the power n dot b to the power n therefore the result is true for all negative integers also thus we have a dot b to the power n is equal to a to the power n dot b to the power n for all integers n this proves our result thank you